disappears. And I, I, want, I put a personal question to you now. When you, because I, I know you had been on YouTube, you, play, you knew the media in that sense, but you weren't a media person. In your baptism, uh, harsh as it was, how hard was it in the first couple of weeks for you to find balance and scale? You may be a clinical psychologist, and you are obviously mature. Oh, I don't think I've ever found balance and, and scale. <laughs> well, join my club. <laughs> you know, I, I, don't, I don't believe it. I mean, I've, I'm well, I, here I, I, still. I mean, in, the, in the, the, that great throbbing moment when all this stuff came in, and he hates this one, and your name is flashed all over the world. That was the first real magnitude of media attack on you. Yeah. So even for you, how was, how was that period? Well, it was dreadful. I mean, especially the first couple of months because, well, because the attention was, well, it has been since then, but the attention was unbelievably intense. I mean, I had, there were days upon days where there were reporters lined up coming into the house one after the other. And, and, and that, that's, that really hasn't stopped. I mean, it stopped, let's say, in the last two months since, since the end of March, however long ago that is, because mm -hmm. I've shut myself off because of yeah. my, I, I have some family health trouble that's very serious. But um, I don't think I've ever adjusted to it. Mm -hmm. um, What's made it bearable, I would say, and, and some of it's been very good, you know. Yeah, it, I know it I mean, it's taken my life, which was fairly broad. I, yeah. I had a fairly broad range of experiences, partly because I'm a clinical psychologist, and, mm -hmm. you know, it's taken it from good and bad to yeah. great and yeah. unbearable. And I yo-yo between those states. Um, what's helped is... Well, the first thing is, is that, you know, I determined right from the beginning that I was going to say carefully mm -hmm. what I believe to be true because there wasn't a safer route than that. It's interesting. You know, that, that in the final analysis, it wasn't certain that anything would protect me. Better than but, doing the right well, thing. Well, well. Whether that would work or not was debatable, but there wasn't a better option. Yeah, I can understand that. And, and, and I believe that, you know, yeah. I, I still believe that. Um, and I think the success of what I've done is an indication of that. The success of my book, say, which is yeah. also absolutely overwhelming. I mean, it's, it's impossible to... Yeah, the, the Especially, I, I'm kind of old, you know, I'm just about 60. And, and, you, and you're and, white, and you're and, male. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's all of those things. You are a bad man. <laughs> yeah, well, the, the old part, I think, has to do with, with the ability to adapt. I'm even older adapt. and whiter than <laughs> male. <laughs> yeah, well, but, you know, it, it's, it's fulfilled, and the lectures and the podcasts as well, um, and the YouTube videos, they've fulfilled a need, which also is something that's very difficult for me to to reconcile myself to, you know, I mean, even on, every time I walk down the street, yeah. someone stops me, someone stopped me on yeah. the way here, you yeah, know, sure. and, and as opposed to my treatment at the hand of a minority of journalists, which has been atrocious upon occasion, and, and academics as well, the treatment I receive from people in public is so positive that it's almost unbearable. Let me tell you a personal anecdote that relates to you. Uh, I don't mix my old stuff with family members, but my sister is a non-political kind of person. And uh, as I say, I don't mix those things. She called me, and she's out of this world altogether. She called me about, I don't know, a year ago. Have you seen the Jordan, Dr. Jordan Peterson? Do you know Dr. Jordan? Lovely stuff. And she is following the videos, the, the biblical uh, lectures. And yeah. She's a smart, uh, nice woman. And then that was one thing, that, that was unsolicited. She's not in the world of publicity. She doesn't follow fads, but somehow your name got in there, and she's watching these with great attention, great enjoyment, actually. But the better one, I won't be particular, a friend of mine from home, uh, never finished school. He's about 55, 56, so we're not into the teen cohorts. Yeah, yeah. Him. And he calls me up. I don't think he's read a book in six years. And he says, I've been watching this Peterson fellow. And, you know, I can't re reproduce what he was saying. It was just that he found such comfort. Yeah. And he, he found such support. And my thought when I was hearing this, it was some way to relay it to you. 
in all the, the ping pong back and forth that you're going to, yeah. these voices are saying something. You're doing something really fine for people that I, I could never project would be receiving the message. It's, it's, it's